hey all this is Gamma Skripnichanka and now I want to explain you my code for my calculator so first of all I included uh, the two libraries which is input output and the map.h for to use uh, square root sinuses sinus and etc uh, then I have a using namespace, namespace std which is which stands for standard t++ library and that uh, means that uh, we're gonna be using all the classes objects and functions of the standard standard uh, c++ library uh, then uh, i declare in my main class in my main function i declare uh, my different different uh, variables uh, which is in my case first number second number uh, input which you will see what is it later and the result used somewhere in the middle of code um, so then I asked the program to print me out the whole uh, list of functions of the program uh, you will see it, then I will run the program uh, then I uh, ask user to enter the first number uh, then I take it uh, then I ask the user to enter the character from this table uh, which will be above in the console uh, then I take it again uh, then I ask to I ask program to run until user enters Q, which is stands for quit the program. Um, and then our program basically starts. Well, calculation start, <laughs> and then we ask a program to analyze what is the input here and it is well, for example here it is plus then I ask user to enter the second number I take it and then I uh, do a plus b and I give this uh, value to the a to my first number because uh, this is, will be my screen number like in uh, all the calculators out there um, and I will not ask user to enter first number again so then it goes like that with minus plus and on and on then when I ask for example to do the square root well r is square root in my case um, where is it? Um, I don't ask user to enter the second number I'll just uh, do the calculation uh, x square root of a I give this value to a same goes to the trigonometric functions uh, then I have the delete the remainder uh, where I just uh, um, ask user to uh, to enter the second number uh, then since my result is integer I simply translate I simply delete the remainder uh, so yeah and I get I get and I get I get and I get the result so then it's the power uh, remainder uh, and here it's the delete the screen value and start over so if user enters x I will start the prom whole program over again and well for him it looks like I started over again but in fact it just continues to work so here I ask him again to enter the first number and so I delete the screen value which is a and uh, and yeah so and I, then when it goes again to check the stuff I entered so and in 
case the uh, user uh, entered something wrong, like for example G or B, uh, I simply um, ask program to state user that he entered the wrong character and the character he entered. Okay, so then program st stopped checking for what user entered. Uh, if uh, the input wasn't X, so the deleting the screen value, a uh, user gets the result. And well, if it's not, then uh, just uh, user gets asked is asked to enter the again the character from table above this one. Um, and then again, I get input and I go over and over again until I get the Q, which is quit the program, and uh, if, it, if user enters quit, then I get goodbye and the program should end. So now let's check how it works. Um, and run. Okay, here I have the functions, the table of functions of the program. So for sum, enter plus, for subtraction, enter minus, and on and on. And so now let's try it. So for example, my first number is 13. Then I, I'm asked to enter the um, character from this table, so it can be, for example, well, let's start with a simple plus, and for example, three, and I get the result of 16. Uh, then I again can, when my screen value is 16, and I can enter the um, character from this table again. So let's check, for example, uh, square root. It should be 4 because it's 16 and the result is 4. So now let's try to start over and delete the screen value and it again asks me to enter the first number. Number. So now let's for example try to uh, get the 2 the power of 3 and gives the result of 2. So now we can just simply try to quit the program by pressing Q and it writes us goodbye and basically that's all we need. Well, yeah that's all. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.